Chiefs actually won a game! I know, and because it's a rare occasion, I wish you would take it more seriously! What are you talking about? I'm thrilled! Look at yourself! This is a big occasion! You're so unkempt! Get a haircut! Oh, okay, no problem. How's this? Way better. There's no door on that side. Rebuild Leafs win 4 to 3 in the crapshoot over the New York Islanders. So Leafs, you're in the middle of a rebuild. You got a team full of mostly rookies and you just beat the New York Islanders who are in a playoff spot. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, John Tavares. Down one nothing, down 3-2, but they got that Nate Diaz chin. Although, John Tavares opening up the scoring with a breakaway off a of Nazem Kadri giveaway, one nothing Islanders. And that was primarily Nazem Kadri's fault. I mean, he gave the puck away, but I look at Connor Carrick take a swipe at that puck. You know what? He might have got it. Might have kept it alive in the zone. But it's John Tavares. Ah! Run! But luckily, just three and a half minutes later, Martin Marinson blasts it on. The puck is loose in front, and Zach Hyman buries it. I'll tell you the kind of season he's having so far. He just got Martin Marinson an assist. Not trying to make fun of Martin, but an Art Ross candidate, he is not. Zach. Zach. You're not doing a good job of keeping those expectations low. Question of the game, will Zach Hyman be the best number 11 in Leafs history? Too soon? Okay, fine. We'll go to the second period. Morgan Riley, long stretch pass to Nazem Kadri at the offensive blue line. Kadri collects it and then gives it back to Riley for the snipe! The power play goal snipe, the birthday boy snipe. The Leafs are up 2-1. to one. Morgan Riley just getting so many more minutes since the Dion Phaneuf trade. He's looking great out there. He's one of the longest tenured Leafs. He's a true veteran. How old did he turn? 22? That's right, the Leafs' great hope on the back end was born March 9th, 1994. Meaning, by the way, that the New York Islanders have not won a playoff series in Morgan Riley's lifetime. I know, okay, I got other things to say, but I'll just let that one sink in. Okay, okay, we're good. Just over two minutes later, Nick Letty carries it out of his zone, carries it into the Leafs zone. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh! Garrett Sparks getting a huge opportunity in the Leafs net, and I think he deserves it, but that is not how you hold on to it. That's not a goal you give up. I mean, every goalie's going to give up shots that they would like back, but that Nick Letty goal, yeah. But, but, we are in the second intermission, and it's a tied game. By the least standards, pretty good. Johnny Boychuk with a harmless-looking backhand Hail Mary pass. That'll never, no, no, no. Ryan Strom, 3-2. And with about five minutes to play, I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I bet. I bet that's going to be the game winner. That pass. The goal that came off that pass. That is going to be what does the Leafs in today. Come on! Steve, this is your ninth season doing LFR videos. How have you talked about the Leafs losing for nine years? Because they always do it in a new way! There's always so much variety with- No, no, the game's not over yet. Don't hit me. The Leafs have the extra attacker. And with the power play too, the whole time I'm just looking at Garrett Sparks like, just pull him, just pull him, just pull him. They finally do, and bang it away in front, not to be outdone by Zach Hyman, second of the year. Well, nigh the hockey guy ties the game up with just over a minute left to play. And that's exactly the kind of goal you draft William Nylander to score. Really, Steve? You draft a player like William Nylander to score banging goals at the side of the net? No, that's not how you expect William Nylander to score, but it's when. Is the game on the line? William Nylander. Is it in overtime? William Nylander. Do we need a tying goal? William Nylander. I don't care if it's a banging goal, a dirty snipe, a dangle backhand, or if it even goes in off a Swedish tukus. I just need a goal from William Nylander. So clutch, he compliments your outfit, and we're going over Time. And that was exciting and everything, but then it came to an end, so we go to the hockey version of Plinko. Nothing doing from Peter Holland, P.A. Parento, and William Nylander had such a nice move, but he got poke checked, but luckily, Garrett Sparks holding it down on the back end, so we go to round four. Remember a couple seconds ago when I said dangle backhand? Nikita Sashnikov comes in, dangle backhand, woo! Shootout goals, Rolex watch, long limousines, and custom-made clothes. Then nature boy, Nick Flair, woo! You think he's rocking bab socks? No, no. Socks, Nikovs! Moments like this remind me I need a color printer. Woo! And now it's, oh, and now it's up to Garrett Sparks to stop Kyle Clutterbuck. And you know what? He sucked Kyle Clutterbuck. Thomas Christ couldn't stop Nikita Sashnikov, but Garrett Sparks stopped Kyle Clutterbuck. And if I seem a little crazy and I seem a little insane, it's because the Leafs won Finally! Way to go, Steve. The Leafs are closer to the Oilers now. All right, I get it. I know what the goal is, okay? I know that I made a video yesterday that I'm shamelessly plugging right now that you should watch underneath talking about why tanking is always a good thing. I know I made that, but sometimes, okay, you gotta get a little win every now and then, all right? What do you want the Leafs to go winless the rest of the season? Plus, with that win, the Leafs get a big two points that mean they're at 55 points on the season, which means they Yeah! Yes! Unreal! Unreal! Giant killer! 
Twitters. Now I will make this the question of the game because a lot of you were going nuts on Twitter in this regard. What do you see these rookies projecting to be? Specifically guys like Zach Hyman and Nikita Soshnikov, right? I think we all expect William Nylander to play on the first line, but is that where Soshnikov and Hyman are meant to be? Whether it's first line or fourth for their career, one thing's for sure, right now, they look like players. Oh, something's going right for the Leafs. I don't even know what to do with myself. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all your friends. Like I said, there is a link down below for a video I made about why tanking is always awesome. Also, a video that I mentioned last video uh, where I was messing around with the Sabres and showing them phone apps. You can check that out. And I will see you next time. Hockey Night in Cinema in Ottawa.